De regreso aquí en Auto 060 en la edición especial del Auto Show de Detroit. Y bueno, ahí la entrevista muy interesante con el eh, director y CEO de General Motors en México, Ernesto Hernández. Y ahora, bueno, vamos a hablar de un tema que tocamos brevemente, no brevemente, lo, a, bastante amplio, la semana pasada sobre el anuncio en sí es de que los autos de Chevrolet van ahora a estar conectados a Internet y van a tener una cantidad de aplicaciones que van a hacer la vida mucho más fácil al vehículo. Así que para eso vamos a hablar con Mary Chan, que es la presidenta de una nueva división que se llama Global Connected dentro de General Moros, que es quien nos va a explicar todas las novedades que hay al respecto de la conectividad en el auto. Well, uh, thank you for having us, Mary, here. And um, we already have heard about the announcements for the connectivity in the car from uh, CES last week. But now we are seeing the more applications, getting to more into detail into this. And this is not all, I mean, it's a great thing to have connectivity in the car for up to, what, seven devices and all that. But it goes beyond that, right? I mean, it's like getting the car into a next level of uh, advancement in technology. Yeah, so I think obviously the first set of applications that we're showcasing is really more the traditional news and music and entertainment. We're obviously showcasing um, also good, uh, application that really serves the customer and their vehicle, like vehicle health maintenance capability, where we could actually uh, work with the data inside of the vehicle to project with a failure mode and really make that failure mode clear to our customers. And so that's one example of things that are very specific to apps. We're also looking at, obviously, business to business models, leveraging the uh, connected vehicles, so us working into the ecosystem around location-based services, uh, food and fuel purchases, because you know uh, when those are required in, in your um, yeah. vehicle. So that that's another opportunity for us to be working very closely with other partners that may not be traditionally inside of the auto industry. And the last area, we obviously look at the uh, fleet management area, so rental cars and fleet management and insurance sector, right? Um, it requires a connectivity. It requires the information around how, you how the car is being utilized, uh, yeah. what kind of application can serve either the fleet management side or, or the customer who's rental to that, renting that vehicle. Yeah. Um, uh, let me go back to the first issue, like the diagnosis of the car, because that's just a huge peace of mind for consumers. Because now there's no guessing. There's no mechanic going to like to tell you there's something else wrong with the car. It's like it, the computer, the car itself is telling you what it needs, right? Right. I think, you know, some some of the things that we've seen is that, you know, the check engine light is always uh, very... Um, it could be anything. <laughs> the, yeah, it was confusing for customers. You have to go back into your user yeah. manual to really understand what that means. And I think with the software application, it actually gives you very specific information around what's wrong with the vehicle and also what can you do to service that vehicle yeah. once that alert, you know, so the connections to the dealership right and the connections to really understand how critical that issue whether you need to go there now or yeah, whether, whether you can schedule an appointment so i think those kind of uh, services really provide the customer a peace of mind yeah and another thing about the heart being connected with your device is that i guess you could already like uh Oh, unlock your car, you can do that already, I know that. But then it's going to be like the ID for the key for the car. That, that It could be that, that, right? Yeah, I think that the smartphone and having it paired with your vehicle gives you another opportunity to interact in a car in a much uh, meaningful way than just a regular key fob. So, you know, your remote link app... Um, that you have on your device. It gives you more information when you're away from the vehicle, yeah. now how much fuel you, is, you have in your vehicle, whether your tire pressure needs to be uh, changed or altered, right, based on the weather condition, right? Those are safety factors. Um, yeah. And then being able to remotely send a destination download into your vehicle, uh, and, and so it really saves your time when you're inside of the vehicle, you just turn on the key and you just go, right? All that information is preloaded into your vehicle. It helps you to be more efficient when you're on the road. Yeah, that's great. And the last thing, um, it also the, all this uh, technology that comes in and moves really fast. I mean, and car, car design and hard development doesn't move that fast. You're also working with developers to 
eliminate that gap, right? Yeah, so having a uh, application shop inside of our vehicle really provides you the flexibility of not having to preload that content you know, four or five years before the vehicle is launched. Yeah. And so we can actually work with the developers, whether it's weeks or months, whether those content, those applications can come into a curated uh, GM app shop, right? So that's, uh, that's the flexibility of innovating faster in this space and decoupling the traditional development cycle of an auto environment with the consumer electronics environment. Amazing what you guys are doing. And uh, just to think that about the iPhone is about seven years old, and I don't know what I'm going to see, like, five years or not. I think <laughs> that you, I think you're seeing a uh, beginning of some really exciting applications that we are going to try to usher in. And some so a lot of the experiences is really around building that specific application experience for the passengers and for the vehicles. And we haven't seen that so far because most of the applications are built for the yeah. smartphones, yeah. right? Now we're starting to see a blending experiences of application for vehicle. And you also have the OnStar service. The blue button is always there. So if you're on the road and we have a Priceline application and you want to book a hotel, if you can't complete that transaction, you can always press the blue button, and they'll talk do it to for our you. advisors, <laughs> and they know the information, you know, and right. you can really finish that transaction. So it's a multi-channel experience that we're trying to deliver. Yeah, through we were this at the Global Command Center of OnStar yesterday. It was amazing. Thank you very much for you're your time. You're very welcome. And congratulations again. Thank you Thank for you. coming by. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.